so let's start with the numerical you can take down a simply supported beam of 4.5 meter span a simply supported beam of 4.5 meter span carries carries an uniformly distributed load carries an uniformly distributed load of 30 kN per meter including its self fit 30 kN per meter including its self fit the width of beam is 230 the width of beam is 230 and overall depth 550 mm and overall depth 550 mm the beam is reinforced with the beam is reinforced with the beam is reinforced with four number 20 mm bars four number 20 mm bars calculate moment of resistance of section calculate moment of resistance of the given section just let me know what is the ast value Twelve point twelve five six point six three. One two five six point three mm square. So first we will calculate all three design constants. So once you calculate a design constant, then you can go for calculation of moment of resistance. So very first thing you have to calculate K U max. Okay, U max equal to seven hundred divided by eleven hundred plus point eight seven EFY. So this is the value of K U max. So you can put the value. Uh, so grade of concrete EFCK is twenty EMPA and EFY. Can take it 500 MP. So 700 divided by 1100 plus 0.87 into 500. So tell me this value. Zero point four five. Zero point four five. Okay. Now from this you can calculate E X U max value. E X U max equal to what? K U max into D. So here you will have to calculate D value. So overall depth is given as 550 mm. So from this you can calculate D. D equal to this overall depth. Minus clear cover minus five by two. So you can assume clear cover as twenty five mm. So five fifty minus clear cover twenty five minus five by two will be ten. So effective depth will be five one five mm. So from this you can calculate the XU max value. Tell me that value. What you are getting XU max? Zero point four five. Zero point four 
Please repeat. Two thirty one point seven five. Two thirty one point seven five. Yeah, man. All of you getting this value? Yes. Yes. Now what you have to do? You have to calculate actual depth of neutral axis. Exu you have to calculate. So this is what critical depth of neutral axis or depth of neutral axis for balance section. So next step you have to calculate actual depth of neutral axis. Now to calculate actual depth of neutral axis. Now to do that, what we usually do, we have to equate total compression with total tension. So total compression is to be equated with total tension force. That is Cu equal to T. Now Cu value you can write it as 0.36 Yfck into Xu into B, whereas total tension is 0.87 into Fy into Ast. So from this you will be getting Xu value which is equal to 0.87 into Fy into Ast divided by 0.36 Fck into B. So put the values 0.87 into Fy is 500 into Ast is 1256 divided by 0.36 Fck 20 and B is 230. You put the value 330. 330. Okay. So, here you are getting 330 mm. Yes, 330, sir. Yes, 330. It's 330 mm. Now, you can compare Xu and Xu max. So XU max you got 231. So whereas XU is 330. So XU is greater than XU max. So which type of section it will be? So since you are getting XU greater than XU max, what type say uh, what type of section it will be under reinforce or over reinforce? Yes. So since the XU is greater than XU max, the section is over reinforced. The section is over reinforced. So you can calculate moment of resistance based on compression. So that is Cu into Zu. So Cu is 0.36 Fck B into Xu and lever arm will be D minus 0.42 Exu. So all the values you are having with you can just put values in the expression and find out value of MUR. Yes, please. What is the value of MUR? 
into 10 raised to 6 into 10 raised to 6 this will be newton mm and this is 205.69 kilo newton meter so all of you getting this value yes sir yes okay, fine sir so this is how you have to calculate moment of resistance of a given section so in this given data will be span of beam span will be given then ast will be defined b will be given d will be given either you have to assume clear cover or effective cover will be given to you and grades will be defined fck and fy now actually when you are designing it for any practical case or field application so you can assume fck and fy so minimum grade of concrete to be used for is a m20 according to is 456 so minimum m20 grade of concrete you have to use and steel available in the market will be FE 450, FE 500, FE 550, and then 550D, 600, 650. So different grades of steel are available in market. So depending on the structure uh, for which you are going to build, uh, whether it is multi-story building, whether it is bungalow, whether it is row house. So depending on that, you have to decide uh, which uh, grade of concrete and steel you are going to use. So all the things uh, depend on uh, the type of structure. So where you are going to use. So accordingly, so initially when you are starting design, you have to go for preliminary design. And in preliminary design, you will have to assume B value, you will assume D value, FCK, FY, nominal cover. So all these values you will have to assume on your own. And then accordingly, you will have to go for design. So we will see another type of problem wherein the design is expected to do. Write down next numerical. A singly reinforced beam of a singly reinforced beam of M25 grade of concrete. A singly reinforced beam of grade M25 grade of concrete is to be designed is to be designed to resist to resist an ultimate bending moment of an ultimate bending moment of 90 kilonewton meter ultimate bending moment of 90 kilonewton meter design the section using 0.9 percent steel design the section using 0.9 percent steel of grade of grade fe 500 of grade fe 500 Assume the width of beam equal to 250 mm. Assume the width of beam. Assume the width of beam equal to 250 mm. Okay, fine. So this is how uh, the data is given. So ultimate bending moment is given EMU to be 90 kilonewton meter. Percentage of steel to be used is defined 0.9%. EFCK is given 25 MPA. EFY is 500 MPA. And width uh, is given to be 250 M. Now with this given data, you are supposed to uh, design a beam section. Now, when you are designing the beam, it should be either balance section or it should be under reinforced section. 
you have to design the section as either balanced or under reinforced you should not go for design of over reinforced section now i will just uh, let you know what exactly difference between balanced section and under reinforced section now in balanced section and under reinforced section the basic difference is related to steel quantity now in steel quantity is more in case of balanced section compared to under reinforced section in this steel quantity is lesser whereas in case of uh, balanced section it will be more now because of more quantity of steel this will be costlier compared to this one and this will be little bit economic section compared to balanced section because here concrete and steel both are failing simultaneously so the percentage of steel or quantity of steel is uh, maximum what you use in balance section compared to under reinforced section so when you increase the quantity of steel your cost is also going to increase because steel is costlier and overall cost of rcc will be increased because of more quantity of steel whereas if you design under reinforced section so this will give you economic solution because it will be having lesser quantity compared to balance section and also this will give you ductile mode of failure of rc section so that's why uh, as an engineer uh, all the time you should look for design of under reinforced section now if you are designing under reinforced section your x u max and x u you will have to compare accordingly so x u should always be less than x u max if you are designing an under reinforced section so here you have been given pt max value so we will first uh, go for calculation of ku max once we calculate ku max value accordingly we will have to calculate uh, ku value and from that you can calculate x value accordingly we can get the value of uh, ru and d so here calculation we have to do for ast you have to calculate percent uh, percentage of steel defined but uh, quantity of steel is to be calculated also overall depth is not given so that also you have to calculate so you have to design the section means what so you have to uh, design the section here as per problem so that means you have to design cross sectional dimensions either you have to go for defining cross sectional dimensions and you have to go for calculation of quantity of steel so both things you have to do here now out of two cross section uh, dimension that is b and d b is already defined here so you have to just calculate overall depth so ast that is quantity of steel or area of steel to be specific area of steel and overall depth that you need to calculate now to start with we will go for calculation of ku max so ku max equal to 700 divided by 1100 plus 0.87 efy so this value will be same unless and until there is change in efy value in last numerical also you have calculated this ku max value you can just use the same one because efy is same 500 and in this numerical also you are using 500 mps what is ku max value 0.456 yes so this is ku max value now here pt max we will calculate from ku max so pt max equal to 0.36 efck into ku max divided by 0.87 efy so tell me this value ku max is known to you efck is known efy is known you put those values in the expression and tell me the value of pt max Three point three one. Zero point nine four. Nine zero point nine four percent. Zero point nine four percent. Yes, please. Zero point nine four percent. 
Now here PT max value, whatever is given, so this is more than 0.9%. So our whatever percentage is given, so the section comes out to be under reinforced. Now percentage of steel given in this numerical is 0.9%. So PT is less than PT max, so hence the section is under reinforced. So section comes out to be under reinforcing. Now you can calculate value of KU. So KU equal to 0.87 FY upon 0.36 FCK into PT. Now the same expression I have used to calculate KU value. Instead of max, I am using for under reinforced. Now I have reshuffled this particular expression. So here PT max was to be calculated. Now I have to calculate KU. So I replaced PT max with PT and rearranging the term, I can get KU value. So 0.87 FY divided by 0.36 FCK into PT. So tell me this value. 43.5. So this is 0.9%. So you have to divide it by 100. So it comes out to be 0.435. All of you getting this value? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine, fine. Yes. Now this value also you are getting less than KU max. So hence, again, it is proved that the section is under reinforced. Now next we will calculate RU value. So RU equal to 0.36 EFCK into KU into 1 minus 0 0.42 KU. Tell me this value. Three point one nine. Three point one nine Newton per EMM square. Now we know EMUR equal to R U into B D square. So while calculating or discussing about design parameters, we have derived this expression EMUR equal to R U into B D square. So from this, you can calculate this D value, D equal to MUR divided by RU into B. Now MUR, we will equate it with MU value because moment of resistance should be equal to or greater than external moment. So external moment is given as 90 kilonewton meter. So we will replace MUR with M. So effective depth D should be greater than EMUR. So 90, we will put it in Newton EMM divided by RU 3.19 and B value is 250. Tell me the value of effective depth required. Three thirty five point nine. Three thirty five point so let's say it's three thirty six. 
so overall depth so clear covers at 25 mm we will be providing plus half the bar diameter say 20 mm bar if we are going to use so 20 by 2 it will be 10 So it comes out to be around 371. So make it 380 mm. So you have to calculate AST now. AST. So PT equal to AST upon BD. So AST we will calculate as PT. It's 0.9% divided by 100 into BD. So 0 0.9 by 100 into B value is 250 into D is 380. Tell me AST value. Yes, please. What area you are getting? 855. 855 mm square. Now in beam, you can calculate number of bars. Uh, suppose you are using 20 mm bars. Then you can calculate number of bars. So this is equal to AST upon a5 now a5 will be area of one bar which is equal to pi by 4 into 20 square so, so ast is 855 divided by area of single bar if you put you will be getting number of bars how much five bars you are requiring Three bars. Three bars, okay, fine. So at the end you can write down summary. So provide RC section of overall size 250 by 380 mm and provide three number 20 mm bar in tension zone so this completes this design numerical so first you calculated ku max value then from that you calculated pt max value then you compared pt max with pt and the relation was satisfied so as to design under reinforced section. Now once that is done, then from PT we calculated KU value and from KU we calculated RU value. So RU equal to BD square, that relation is used to get moment of resistance. Now the moment of resistance is equated with external bending moment to calculate the required effective depth. Now that effective depth required, once you calculate, you have to round it to higher value. So same thing we have done it here. And uh, to calculate overall depth, you have to add up clear cover. So this 25 mm clear cover plus 5 by 2. So that you can add in effective depth to get the overall depth. So once you do that, so whatever value you have got, we have rounded it to multiple so as to make it feasible on field so 380 mm is the rounded value of overall depth so then we calculated ast value 
uh, sorry here this uh, 380 and this will be much higher so actual depth effective depth you have to use here it's 336 so that depth is 336 that you have to use instead of 380 so make that correction so no, anyway uh, you will be getting three bars uh, so fractionally whatever you are getting so here instead of 20 mm one can go for 12 mm or 16 mm bars also Uh, if you reduce the bar diameter the number of bars will be more so accordingly uh, whatever width is available accordingly you have to decide whether you have to go for more number of bars or less number of bars more over uh, weight of bars per meter so that also will be the deciding criteria so which diameter is to be used so that will be sole decision of a designer only so there is no any uh, stringent rules uh, to decide the bar diameter but you have to take care that while deciding bar diameter the bar diameter should be such that to avoid congestion of bars in the width now if you reduce bar diameter what will happen number of bars will be you are getting more so if you take say 10 mm bar diameter the number of bars will go beyond say 5 um uh, 5 or it may reach up to 6 uh, depending on ast required so in that case when you have to occupy uh, those bars in 250 mm width only so more or clear cover you have to uh, leave there so say 250 uh, 25 25 on both side if you uh, leave that space so there are guidelines related to minimum uh, distance between reinforcement then maximum distance between reinforcement uh, as per is 456 all those guidelines are to be strictly followed then and then only uh, you can uh, go for final finalization of bar diameter because if number of bars are more and you cannot accommodate those bars in single row then probably you will have to go for double rows of bars so that will be very tedious job so in such situations you can increase the bar diameter so it is expected that you can increase bar diameter to reduce the number of bars so accordingly you have to proceed for design of beam so is there any difficulty in this up till now is there any difficulty yes no sir okay so if there is no difficulty we will go for one more numerical calculate the moment of resistance calculate the moment of resistance of rc section calculate the moment of resistance of rc section 230 mm wide and 300 mm deep 230 mm wide and 300 mm deep the beam is reinforced with the beam is reinforced with 3 bars of 12 mm diameter 3 bars of 12 mm diameter on tension side on tension side calculate the ultimate moment of resistance of the uh, section and also determine also determine the maximum udl the beam can carry the maximum udl the beam can carry over a span of 3 meters over a span of 3 meters use m20 grade of concrete and fe500 steel m20 grade of concrete and fe500 steel so i will just write down given data first so b value is given as 
230. Then overall depth is 300 mm. ASP is defined as three number 12 mm bars. And then length is given three meters. EFCK 20 MPA and EFY 500 MPA. So this is the given data. You have to calculate ultimate moment of resistance EMUR and you have to calculate the ultimate load carrying capacity of beam over a span of 3 meters. So when you have to calculate EMUR, so first thing you have to calculate KU max value or directly you can calculate EXU max which is equal to KU max into D. So to get effective depth, so effective depth will be equal to overall depth minus clear cover minus 5 by 2. So overall depth is 300 clear cover, let's say 20 mm I'm using and 5 by 2. So 12 mm bar is there. So 274 mm. So KU max expression you can write down using KU max expression directly you can get the value of EXU max. So this is 700 divided by 1100 plus 0.87 FY into effective depth. 274 so this will be xu max then you have to calculate exu value by equating total compression with total tension so accordingly you will get xu equal to 0.87 efy into ast divided by 0.36 efck b so you have to compare these two values, the XU max with the XU, and then you have to decide whether the section is under reinforced or over reinforced. And then you can write down expression for EMUR. Okay, tell me what is the value of XU max? Yes, please. 124.95. 124.95. Are you getting this value? Yes sir. yes, sir. Okay. Then what is value of XU? Eighty nine point one two. Eighty nine point one two five. Fine. So if you compare a relation here, so XU max is greater than EXU. EXU max is greater than EXU. So what type of section it is? Under reinforced. Yes. So this is going to be under reinforced section. So you can calculate here 
moment of resistance based on tension in steel you can calculate anyway ru into bd square that also can be done or mur you can calculate using tension tu into zu so tu is 0.87 fy into ast multiplied by zu d minus 0.42 xu so 0.87 into 500 into ast into d is 274 minus 0.42 xu is 89.125 Yes, please. What is the value of M U R you are getting? Thirty-four point nine one into ten is to six. Thirty-four point nine one nine one kilonewton meter. So this is the ultimate moment of resistance of the given R C section. Now next part of uh, question that is you have to calculate ultimate. load carrying capacity so for that you have to equate moment of resistance with external bending moment so external bending moment for simply supported beam subjected to udl will be wl square by 8 so l value is given as 3 meter so accordingly you can calculate wu so mr this mur value is 34.91 Into eight divided by L square is three square. So tell me this ultimate load carrying capacity value. Thirty one point zero three. Thirty one point zero three kilo newton per meter. So this is the load carrying capacity. now this is ultimate load carrying capacity and that to it is including self fit if you are to calculate superimposed load you have to deduct self fit from this particular value so if you have to calculate superimposed load only so that is live load suppose you have to calculate so that will be this uh, wu minus self fit of beam now to calculate self fit of beam you will require unit weight of concrete and cross sectional dimensions so this self fit equal to b into d into unit weight of rcc so b is 0.23 D is 0.3 into unit weight of RCC will be 25 kilo newton per cubic meter. So if you deduct that value, you will get superimposed load, and that will be again factored ultimate load. Thirty-one point zero three minus self weight of beam. If you do that, you will get superimposed load. What is that value? Twenty-nine point. Okay. Twenty-nine point. Three zero. Three zero kilo newton per meter. If you divide this value by one point five, that will be safe load carrying capacity. So this is ultimate load carrying capacity, and if you divide it by one point five, that will give you working load capacity. Okay, is it clear to all of you now? Yes, sir. 
Yes, in next session, we will go for a double reinforced section and a numerical based on that analysis of double reinforced section and analysis of double reinforced section. Uh, followed by its numerical and then probably you can start with design of slab. So before that, uh, if possible, today itself uh, we will go for uh, one more session. So therein I will discuss about uh, IS clauses uh, which uh, you should be comfortable with uh, before going for further part of uh, design of concrete structure. So I will let you know whether uh, I'm going to have that session today itself or it will be tomorrow only. Okay, fine. If you have any doubts, uh, we can go for it. If not, uh, we can stop for today. Is there anything to discuss? Yes, please. No, sir. No, sir. Okay, fine.